doing yoga. Um, as usual, you don't need any special equipment, you just need your body and you can invite your friends, your dogs and cats to practice with you. So first we're gonna warm up and then we'll do some animal poses and then we, I'm gonna read a story and you can just relax. So we'll stand up and we're gonna be doing jumping jacks. So you can just start jumping to warm up your body. And let's do a few more until you feel your body getting warmer. Good. And now you can put your arms up and you're gonna go and touch the ground as if you were a ragdoll. So you go down and then you're slowly gonna stand up. And let's do it two more times. So arms up and you go down and you slowly come up. Good. One last time. So arms up and you go down and you slowly gonna stand up. Good. And now you're gonna sit down. You can find a comfortable seat and we're gonna warm up our faces. So you're gonna make, you can make any sort of funny, weird faces with your face. So move your mouth, open your eyes, close your eyes, close them. And you can also massage your face with your hands to really warm it up. And your ears, massage your ears so they're gonna be listening the whole day. Good. Very good yawn. <sighs> so now that we are all warmed up, we're gonna be, we're gonna start with the sunset, actually no, the sunrise sunset for us. And if you've been doing yoga with me, you know what that is. So you're still going to sit in a comfortable um, seat. And you can put your hands on your knees or on the, the ground or on your feet. And we're going to be breathing in through our nose as if you are smelling a nice flower, some daffodils or tulips. And when you breathe out, you're going to breathe out through your mouth as if you were blowing out all the birthday candles on your birthday cake. Um, so let's start with the breath and then we'll put the arms um, together. So you breathe in and you breathe out through the mouth. One more time, breathe in. And you breathe out through the mouth. And now we're gonna put the arms to the breathing. So when you breathe in, you're gonna lift up your arms and you can clap. And when you breathe out, you're gonna put your arms down. So let's do it a few more times and try to really breathe in all the way, fill up all the, the, your whole lungs and then when you breathe out, um, try to breathe out all the air. So breathe in and breathe out. Let's do 
two more times. So you breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Should feel very calm and ready to move. The next thing we're gonna do is called the tree. And as I mentioned it before, trees don't usually talk. So while we're doing the pose, try to be quiet. And trees also don't really move a lot. So let's try to be still. So you're gonna stand up. And there are different variations. It could be different types of trees. Because if you go into the woods, um, you don't only see one type of tree. You see different taller trees, shorter trees, different ones. So it's okay to do it differently. So one variation is you put your feet together and you put your arms up and you really stretch your arms as high as you can. And you just stand like this, quietly and still. The other variation is to lift up one of your feet and try to balance. Now this can be a little bit tricky and it's okay to move a little bit because it's hard to balance. And the other variation, if you're really good at balancing, you can put your foot against your leg and try to balance and if you fall that's okay you can just go back and try again it's also hard for me and then if you are doing it with one foot up put the one foot down and then lift up the other one so you can just lift it and it doesn't matter how high you you lift your foot, even if it's just an inch above the ground, that's really good because then you're really balancing. Or you can put it all the way up. Just make sure that you don't put it on your knee. So keep your knees safe. And you can balance. And it's, it's easy to balance if you you choose one point and you keep looking at that point instead of looking everywhere because then you fall okay so and you can feel your other leg the standing leg shaking and getting tired and your arms so let's put that foot down and put the feet together and your arms are still up even though they're really, they're getting sore. And now we're gonna move a little bit because there's a little bit of breeze and then the trees move a little bit. So you're gonna go to the right and to the left and to the right and keep your arms up even though they're really getting tired. To the left and one more time to the right and last time to the left and then you can put your arms up if you shake them and you can sit down and relax and I'm going to take off my sweater because it's getting hot here with all the moving good Whew. so you can breathe out take a little break you can also get water if you get thirsty and now, when you're ready, we're gonna be pretending to be elephants. And because we're very hot, we've been moving, we're gonna go and get some water and shower ourselves with the water to cool us down. So your legs are gonna be um, apart and arms up, hands together. This is the trunk of the elephant. And that's how they get the water. 
So we're going to go and lean forward because we have a pool, pond, or lake, or creek um, there. So you're going to go and lean forward and try to touch the ground. And it's okay if you can't, but, but really try. And you're going to get that water. And arms up and shoulders up. And it feels really nice to have the cool water. So let's do it maybe two more times. So you're going to go all the way down. Get that nice water. And you're going to shower yourself. And try to be really straight. And then you go down. You get the water. And all the way up. And now you should feel not as hot as before. Nice and cool. Good. So now we're gonna um, uh, make things faster a bit. So now we're gonna do the rocket ship. And the rocket ships are really fast and they, they go super fast to into space. So we're gonna count down from 10 and when we get to one, you're gonna jump all the way up as high as you can. You can try to touch the ceiling or the lamp or the sky if you're doing it outside. So we're gonna stand like this and if this is not comfortable for you or it's hard because you need to balance, you can just sit on your legs like this, um, whatever is comfortable. And you can put your hands on your knees or you can put them together. And we're gonna come back from 10. And I want you to count two. You can be super loud. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and jump! And you're in space. Don't go away. Good. Let's do it one more time. So, you go down, and we're going to count down from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and jump! And you can touch the sky. Good. Alright, let's sit down and relax. You can lay down. I am going to get water. your breath. Do drink some water. <sighs> Get your breath. Good. And when you're ready, then we're gonna do something easy and relaxing. It's called a rock. So, some, for some people, this is the easiest. For others, it might be the hardest because rocks don't move. They're very, very still. If you go outside and look at a rock, it's not going to move. Um, and it's also not going to talk. It's very, very quiet and very still. So some people can be quiet and still, for others, it's a little bit harder. So let's try it and see how it goes. So you're gonna sit on your legs like this and you're gonna lean forward and your forehead is gonna try to touch the ground. And you're gonna try to be quiet and still. And your arms can go next to your legs or in front, or in front of you, whichever is more comfortable. Good. 
And if keeping your legs together is too hard, you can put them, move them apart and then go forward. It's easier. But you still need to be quiet and still. Stand up. Good. So was it hard or was it easy to be in the pose? And you can always come back to the rock. So if some one of the poses gets too hard, you can skip it and you can just go and be a rock and relax. So now that we relax and we're full of energy. We are going to do a few more things. The next one is the gorilla. So, make sure you invite your friends, your adults, your dogs, your cats. Some of my friends have turtles. You can bring your turtles or all sorts of animals. Um, because it's, it's more fun to do it with people. It's not really fun to do it at home. So, you're going to make this. Out of your hands, and remember, you're going to gently tap on your chest. You're not going to hit yourself because then you're going to hurt yourself, and that's not fun. So gently, and then you're going to make it sound like a gorilla. So like this. Uh, and you can go to your friend, and you can do it to their chest, and they can do it to her chest. Um, you can go around, so let's do it a little bit longer. Uh, until you're out of breath. Good! Nice! I hope you enjoy that, especially if you're with people. Okay, so the next thing is the frog. And I heard that's the hardest. So let's see. So frogs like to jump. So we're going to jump around in a circle. And you can go down um, on your feet like this and jump. Or if this is not comfortable for you, you can just stand up and jump like this. You can jump in a circle. And you can also jump on one leg and then switch. But we're gonna try to be frogs. And it doesn't matter if you're standing or you're on your feet. Um, we're gonna um, say a ribbit, just like the frog does. So, are you ready? Let's go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. And you can you can make a race out of it if you have your friends around or your favorite adults or your cats or your dogs or your turtles or a frog. Maybe you have a frog. And then you can do a really nice race with the frog. Um and see who's faster. So let's do it one more time. Let's let's do a race. So Ready, set, go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. And permission to lay down. And you can get a nice cup of water if you want. And just take a little break because it's hard work being a frog and moving and jumping all the time. Okay, so before we finish, let's do one more. So we're going to be planes. And for that, we're going to stand up and arms out and remember the wings of the planes are straight so try to keep your arms straight um even though it can be hard but try and we're going to go around in a circle 
again, for some people, relaxing is super easy. And for some, for others, it might be the hardest thing. So let's just try it and see how it goes. But before I read the story, we're going to do one last uh, breathing exercise. It's called the lion's breath. So just like we did at the beginning, we're going to breathe in through our nose, smelling all the nice flowers or cake or I don't know what else, something nice. You, you can smell, you can pretend to smell something nice through your nose. And then when you breathe out, you're going to breathe out um, through your mouth, but this time you're going to put your tongue out. So it's going to look like this. Breathe in. And breathe out, tongue out. And really try to put your whole tongue out. It's okay. I'll give you permission to put your tongue out. Okay, let's do it a few more times. And, and it might look silly, but that's okay. So breathe it in. And breathe out, tongue out. And this can also be fun to do with, with your friends or your animals. So let's do it two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out, tongue out. And one last time, breathe in. Breathe out, tongue out. grab another cup of water before we move to the last part where I'm gonna read a short story about a pig, a piggy, and you can lay down, you can sit, you can cuddle with your friends and families and pets. Um, you can bring a blanket or um, a pillow. So just make sure that you're comfortable and relaxed. And try to listen to the story and don't talk too much. So. Sometimes the world can be such a busy, noisy place. Sometimes it feels like you always have to hurry, hurry, and hurry. And you feel like you can't slow down, even when you're sitting down. It can be hard not to lose your temper when you're angry. And you can get really frustrated when things don't go your way. So it's good to have a peaceful place inside. It's good to meditate. Peaceful piggies know when to take a break, find a quiet spot, and just breathe, breathe, and breathe. Mom or dad might help them set up a special place with a few things, maybe a crystal for clear thinking, a stone for stillness, or even a flower for kindness. Peaceful piggies sit like a king or queen on their throne, feeling the solid earth beneath them and the big sky all around them. Every day, they sit feeling their breath going in and out until their minds calm down. So peaceful piggies feel free like a bird in the sky and as calm as a pond on a cool, clear night. This makes it easier to accept things that happen and stop wishing for things to be different. When you're peaceful, you can be truly fearless. Best of all, when you're feeling peaceful, you like who you are just as you are. So it's easier to face the truth about yourself. 
and it's easier to stand up to others. Peaceful piggies take good care of their friends. They try to be loving and kind to all beings, even worms. By slowing down, peaceful piggies notice all the magical little things in life, like the way raindrops race each other down the window, the way the, the, way the clouds tell silent stories, and the way birds sing songs just for you. Having a peaceful place inside helps keep a happy heart happy, so that even on a painful day, a peaceful piggy can smile. The end. So you can stay where you are and, and relax, or if you want to get up, you can slowly get up. And thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed it.